and then explains why baseball sucks in the United Kingdom. America's pastime. It's a sport that is now played worldwide by countries you wouldn't think ever play it. It's an excellent sport and it's accessible to all kinds of people. Contrary to popular belief, Britain has been playing American baseball for quite some time. It's not to be confused with British baseball, which is a completely different sport altogether and is still being played now. And one of the more famous historical baseball teams in the 19th century was Derby County. Now, if you're from the UK, you'll know Derby County as a football team. But back in the day, they were national baseball champions in 1899. Eventually, the football team usurped the field and ended up playing their home games at the baseball ground, where it remained the home of the football team for over a hundred years, until 1997. But baseball has largely been a forgotten, barely played sport, and there's a few salient reasons why. Before I explain, hit that subscribe button and notifications icon so that you're the first to see my new videos. Baseball? What's that? Most people in the UK have heard of baseball. It's that sport that all those Americans play, right? But ask them about the rules of baseball and barely anyone will be able to tell you. Not many people know how to play it, mainly because they didn't watch my video, but also because there's little to no coverage of it in the local or national media. There is no interest in the sport other than a very small niche of people watching Channel 5 and baseball is pretty much an invisible sport over here. People don't hate baseball in the UK, people nothing baseball in the UK. That's how little they care. This is apathy at its finest. Where's the nearest baseball field? Unlike football, rugby and cricket, where you can find facilities in most towns and cities, baseball fields are incredibly rare. According to Google, there are only 76 clubs in the nation but most of those play on public park spaces or share facilities with cricket grounds. How many actually purpose-built baseball facilities are there? Well, according to the BBF, one. You heard correctly, there is one proper baseball field in the entire country. This means that any American high school has better facilities than the UK's best baseball ground. I'm seriously not joking. Who else is playing it? Almost nobody. With a lack of interest and a lack of facilities, baseball is the least participated of the four North American sports in this country. If you're lucky enough to live near one of the 76 clubs, you'll come across a group of dedicated players and fans. But you won't come across many. Only 3,000 people out of a country of 66.6 .6 million people play baseball, which is significantly less than the amount of players playing flat green balls, darts, snooker or any other sport that doesn't require any degree of fitness but plenty of alcohol consumption. Is there an infrastructure? Believe it or not, yes. The British Baseball Federation is the governing body of the sport here in the UK. You start at a single A team, then move to a double A team, then triple A and the highest league in the country is the National Baseball League, which only consists of four teams. It's pretty much identical to the American baseball system. Simple, right? As you can probably tell, this is where it gets complicated. Separate leagues exist outside of the BBF, which includes the Northern Baseball League, which is only in the north of England, the Scottish National League, consisting of teams only in Scotland, the Southwest Baseball League, and the West Midlands Baseball League, that only has three teams in it. So why is the league structure so convoluted? Because petty arguing. If you're not happy with the current regime, just make your own. The British Baseball League was created to rival the British Baseball Federation. And rather confusingly, they also have their own A system similar to the BBF and American Baseball. So depending on the club that you're at depends on which rival organization you play in. Is there any chance of unification? Whilst they're bickering about how the sport should be run, very unlikely. Do you even have a national team? We do. But remember, these aren't professional teams and these definitely aren't professional players. So the standard of play is primitive compared to what you might find in other baseball playing countries. They never qualified for any major tournament in the last 50 years or so. 
No Olympic Games, no World Baseball Classics, no nothing. I should probably just end the video there and say I rest my case, but you know this gets worse. Governing bodies don't really get any funding from the government, and most of the money comes from the few sponsors that they do have and player registration fees. That's about it. That's the only reason why the BBF and the BBL still exist. And because of the lack of money, there's no marketing or initiatives to get more people to play. They very much exist because someone needs to manage the few players that they do have, not because they do anything proactive to get new ones. And the few players that do play, well, they're not exactly being coached very well. You know, due to no money to hire proper coaches or even buy decent equipment and stuff like that. Is that it? I've actually saved the worst reason for last, and it's simply this. Negative public perception. The UK isn't short on native sports, and there's a dirty stigma and negative stereotypes about American sports amongst British people. Rugby stops will mock American football for wearing pads to play what they deem to be an inferior game, and football fans will overuse the rather unfunny hand egg joke. John Cleese should be shot for introducing that term to the world. Netball snobs will turn their noses up at basketball, even though basketball is clearly more popular worldwide. And cricket will deem baseball as slow and boring, which is ironic given that they watch and play a significantly longer, slower, and infinitely more boring game that could last up to five days. There seems to be a general ignorance and unmitigated snobbery in the UK when it comes to American sports, particularly American football and baseball. They just think it's too American to be ever integrated into British society. And with a poor attitude like that, sadly, they're probably right. So what's being done about it? Nothing. Literally nothing. With little demand for the sport and little money to be gained from introducing baseball into schools, towns and cities, there is no impetus to create a baseball culture here in the UK. Britain is home to a niche following of MLB fans, and the MLB have tried to force popularity onto the UK by playing a series of games in London. Last year, it was littered with problems, such as extortionate ticket prices, the poor playing conditions, the incredibly short field, and the fact that games were played with the defensive players facing the sun and being blinded by the light. They could have constructed the field in the opposite way and it would have solved the problem. No wonder they scored so many runs in those games. Were the two sellout games just a novelty, or is there a hidden fandom within the UK that nobody knows about? I was actually going to find out by doing a Major League Baseball in London video, similar to my NFL in London video, but my tickets were cancelled due to the coronavirus. Thanks a lot, dick. So I guess we won't know for now, but suffice to say that out of the four North American sports, baseball is by far the least popular and it's foolish to even try and create a baseball culture here given its many problems. The mountains are just too high to overcome. If you can't win, don't try. And that's the exact line the BBF and BBL are taking. If you found this video entertaining or educational, comment below and let me know what you think.